And new today, a log jam on the Oconee River in Dublin has one man asking questions on who's responsible for cleaning it up. Morning reporter Wanya Reese spoke to Tony Tabler and a nearby business about this log jam that they say has been there for months. Good morning, Wanya. Good morning, Caitlin. Well, right now we have a lot more daylight. I'm going to go ahead and pan the camera over so you can see this log jam. It's right here on your screen. Now, we reached out to different agencies, but learned log jams like these are not uncommon, according to the State Department of Natural Resources. The sound of traffic roars over the Oconee River, but one thing you notice from the bridge is trees jammed under the railroad bridge. A dangerous Sandra Harden says she sees every day. Just afraid somebody will be driving a boat and just not notice and hit that and get hurt. Harden is not the only worried person. Tony Tabler reached out to 13 WMAZ after he saw the log jam get progressively worse over the past few months. One who would swim in the river or fall out of a boat, little children, anybody like that, even wearing a life jacket, you can easily get pinned up against that and it creates a strainer in the water. Tabler has worked in public safety as a firefighter for more than a decade and says the jam needs to be fixed immediately, but says he has not had much success looking for answers. Uh, everyone's concerned and realizes that it's truly a problem, but I really can't get any action. I don't know who to get a hold of. After making calls, we learned that Lawrence County Public Works, the Lawrence County Sheriff's Office, and the Department of Natural Resources all said they're not responsible for removing the jam. Sergeant Chris Moore with DNR says debris flowing downstream is normal and over time debris will clear out, but Tabler says that is unacceptable. I just need some help down here. I don't know any of the agencies I contacted. They've all been helpful and I've gotten a few calls back, but I don't I'm just at a loss on who to call right now. Also reached out to CXX, CSX and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. They have yet to give us a response yet. And Caitlin, as soon as we get that response, I'll make sure to update the story at 13WMAZ.com. Live in Dublin, Wanye Reese, 13WMAZ News. Very interesting. Thank you, Wanye. Now, more with the DNR also says that he doesn't believe that there is a single entity responsible for making sure debris cleaned from the river, adding that the task would be a big undertaking for any organization.